Okay, so for today's lesson, lesson three, we were scheduled to do a prac looking at um, extracting DNA from strawberries. So in lieu of that, I have obtained a YouTube clip which should um, demonstrate the process for you. Okay, so if you follow the link, the science guys, the sci guys, science at home, um, episode um, extracting strawberry from DNA will demonstrate the process that you would have undertaken in class to extract DNA from strawberries. Please make your uh, read through the next five slides that are snippets from the PDF provided in the folder to also demonstrate how DNA can be extracted from strawberries. Okay, so observation and results. Were you able to see the DNA in the small jar when you added the cold rubbing alcohol? So when in the video, when the rubbing alcohol was added, were you able to see the small DNA in the jar? Was the DNA mostly in the layer with the alcohol and between the layers of the alcohol and the strawberry liquid? So if we take a quick look at the image that I've placed here, what the question is asking you is to identify where the DNA is located. Is the DNA located mostly in the layer with the alcohol and between the layers of alcohol and the strawberry liquid? So here is our strawberry liquid. Um, this layer here contains the alcohol. So the alcohol at the surface here and then this cloudy material that you can see is actually the DNA strands that have been extracted from the strawberries. Okay, so um, this slide here is just going to explain to you um, essentially what should have happened. So when the salt and detergent mixture is added to the smashed strawberries, the detergent helps lies or um, pop open the strawberry cells. So basically the detergent and the salt mixtures destroys the cell walls of the strawberry cells and releases the DNA into the solution. So the salt helps to create an environment where the different DNA strands could gather. So the DNA strands come together to clump to make it easier for you to be able to see them. Um, when you added the salt and detergent mixture, you probably mostly just saw bubbles starting to form. Okay, so this is because of the detergent. So the detergent, um, the bubbles are created by the detergent um, when the DNA starts to be released from the cells. After you added the cold rubbing alcohol, the filtered strawberry liquid, sorry, to the filtered strawberry liquid, the alcohol should have precipitated the DNA out of the liquid while the rest of the liquid remained in the solution. You should have seen the white, clear, gooey DNA strands to the cloudy material in the previous slide in the alcohol layer as well as between the two layers. A single strand of DNA is extremely tiny, so too tiny to see with the naked eye. But because of the DNA's clumping nature in this activity, you are able to see how much of it the strawberries um, contain. So basically when all of their octoploid cells are combined, meaning that they have eight genomes, how much DNA each of these contain. Okay, so thinking about the experiment that we just looked at, we'd like you now to answer the discussion questions. Um, what does DNA look like? From where has the DNA seen in the test tube been released? Explain how each of the following contributed to the process of DNA extraction. So the crushing the fruit, the salt dishwashing liquid solution and the methylated spirits, which is the rubbing alcohol. So you can look back at the previous slides to help you answer these questions if you need to. Continuing on with the discussion questions, question four, a person cannot see a single cotton thread four classrooms away, but if you wound thousands of threads together in a rope, it would be visible at the same distance. How is this statement an analogy to the DNA extraction observed um, in the prac that was just performed? Question five, suggests how the process of DNA extraction is important to the study of genetics. Question six, is DNA found in all living or once living cells? And 
Finally, question seven. Since the strawberries were once living and we extracted DNA from them, what does this mean about the foods that you eat?